Hey guys, welcome back to Ashen Theory, where in today's episode, we will be discussing the Veilun. Now remember, this is all my own thoughts and theory craft, but this is based on the concept art and any of the information that Intrepid has given us on the Veilun. We will be going over the Veilun's culture and the potential combat skills. Now, my original theory of each race having bonuses to a specific artisan class was disproved by Steven in the latest live stream of August 28, 2020 in the Q&A. He confirmed that the artisan classes is not affected by races, religion, and class archetypes. Our next question is from King Yosi. I don't know if I'm saying your name right, sorry. Um, our artisan cra are artisan crafts and their progression affected in any way by race, religion, class, or archetype? Artisan classes and their professions are not affected. That, that, that system is wholly independent of other character choices. So instead of artisan skill bonuses, this will be more what I believe the lore of the Valian will be when it comes to how their culture functions and how it reflects certain professions that can be seen and used in Vera. The Veilun are part of the Aela humans and like the Kalar, have a huge population and are willing to go to war to get what they want. The Veilun's culture already is decently documented with their concept art. The Veilun take after a Middle Eastern culture and their tenets are trade, law, and hardship. Let's check out some of the concept art of their environment and buildings. Every one of their buildings look like they are made from sandstone, where wood is used sparingly. You can also see the Valun's nobility are ones for grandeur and willing to spend the money to make huge elaborate buildings. Uh, having all that wealth comes at a cost. There are many who would love to steal it, and the Valun have learned this over the generations and are willing to hire many guards and build defenses to protect their wealth. One way I believe the Valian build their wealth is on the backs of slaves. If you look at this concept art piece, there is a whip. Whips are not a confirmed weapon type in the game. This was part of the Voyager Plus pre-order pack between September to October of 2018. Now it should be noted that no weapons shown in the cosmetic packs come with the pack. This is the case for every pack to help make the game non-pay to win. The Veilun are going to be very heavily focused on making income. Their skilled workers will be focused on mining, animal husbandry, jewel crafting, and scribing. Since the Veilun will have many slaves and the fact the sweltering desert is not hospitable to life, not many people are willing to dig for riches in the desert. Steven has said resources will spawn in areas where they will make sense. For example, I believe common spawn areas for mines will be in both the mountains and the desert, but in the desert you wouldn't expect to find a lot of lumber. Really quickly, before I go deep into the tinfoil hat rabbit hole, players can tame and breed animals in the world of Vera for different traits. These animals will be for mounts, mules, gathering, like sheep for example, and combat pets. Now I believe animal husbandry will be a loved mechanic in this game, and Intrepid will expand on how much this will be involved in the game after the game launches. There's a few reasons why I believe animal husbandry will be a large influence on the Veilun culture. Since they are shrewd traders, they will lead pack animals for their caravans to bring their wares to other markets. In their concept art, there are multiple different styles of caravans. In Ashes of Creation, time matters. Traveling matters. There's no real way to consistently fast travel and no universal auction house. I have a theory they could add another mechanic in this game using birds and the Doomwing Falcon is what concocted this theory. What if there are messenger birds? And these birds can be used to travel to different auction houses to help determine some of the prices the auction houses have, or have some part to do with a node war mechanic. To have some meaningful conflict against these birds, other war guilds can use falcons. 
Now, this Dune Wing is kitted to kill and reminds me of how Germany in World War II trained hawks to specifically target and kill Britain's messenger pigeons. Steven has said in the past he likes to use inspirations based off the real world and use that as a model for Vera, giving more credence to something like this happening. There is a pet the Valium have called Oracle of the Far Prairie. Young Valium women will use this pet to tell if a suitor would be good for them, so the pet will guide them to happiness and love. This pet was sold as a cosmetic pet, but following the theme of meaningful pets and animal husbandry, could players actually use a different version of this pet as a kind of trust mechanic? Maybe the pet could say what guild or wars that player you used it on was in. So a guild could know if someone was trying to be a spy in their guild. I'm expecting espionage to play a large role in this game. The Quarrier is originally a Kalar domesticated animal, but I believe there will be a culture of having these unique creatures in Valune cities. The Quarrier is confirmed to be more than just a cosmetic pet in the game. They are a farm animal. They find and eat gemstones for sustenance. And these gemstones then become infused into the creature's shells where the owners can harvest them. This leads me to my next point where I believe the Valune would be big on jewel crafting in their culture. This theory is mostly from how their cities look so extravagant and how Middle Eastern culture nobility seem to always be wearing jewelry and having a ridiculous amount of gold. There isn't a lot of information on jewel crafting yet, so I'll dig much more into this once more information is released. The last profession I believe to be prevalent to the Valune is scribing. Following the theme that Steven wants to imitate the real world, I'm thinking about the Great Library of Alexandria. It, I know it's not quite Middle Eastern, but it's Egypt and they have a similar art slash billing style. Scribes will be recording the server's history and they will also write the locations of dungeons, points of interest, and gather more resources. Remember when I talked about those messenger pigeons? Someone needs to write those messages. Tying those two professions together where one needs the other, causing a meaningful market where players need to interact. This will make someone being a scribe a more valuable profession. Now let's get out of that rabbit hole and jump right into another one and talk about the combat skills of the Valeon. I believe the Valeon will have bonuses in the weapons rapiers, daggers, spears, halberds, and potion launchers. Rapiers, spears, and halberds all fall under the Middle Eastern culture, so it just makes sense that those weapons will naturally be affiliated to the Valune. Daggers fall under the Valune's lore of their environment has taught them what it means to kill or be killed, whether through the beasts of the desert or the snakes in the market square. Since the Valune are one of the richest empires in Sactus, and it was already discussed that economics will play a large role in the Valen's culture. Where there is wealth, there are people who wish to steal it, and their weapons of choice are daggers. The last weapon I believe the Valen could have bonuses are for potion launchers. A potion launcher is an exotic weapon that I believe has only been done in Ashes of Creation. It's kind of like a grenade launcher in FPS games. The potion launcher is not confirmed to be in the MMO yet, and it is not a black powdered weapon. It's based off arcane arts. I believe the potion launcher will make its way into the MMO. In my opinion, they have done too much work on the weapon, and it's such a unique and iconic weapon for an MMO to not be in the game. The reason why I think the Valoon will have the potion launcher bonuses also falls among the same aspects of Valoon will have unique markets where unique weapons can be found. Lastly, I believe the Valoon will be light armor experts. Being in the desert, it makes sense that they are always wearing 
light gear. Another thing that ashes could do is add bonuses to movement of certain races in certain zones. Like if your race is Veilun, you are wearing light armor, you will receive a 5% speed bonus in the desert. This will make players who are playing the Veilun want to play and fight in the desert areas more. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video of theory crafting of the Veilun and Ashes of Creation. All the information was pulled from the Ashes of Creation wiki and the music is Harris Heller's copyright for East Dream Beats. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Veilun in the comments. What are your Ashen theories?